This is an experiment that we're going to use to uh, just demonstrate what yeast does when uh, we uh, cover it with a balloon. I'm taking a simple, um, oh, it's a um, 16 ounce little water bottle that you can get at the Costco. I have a bag of sugar here. We're going to just use one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of active dried yeast, and I've already placed it in here to. Um, and measure it ahead again. Here's the measuring spoon. Then I have a uh, cup of water. I took a, um, I have a hot water bottle at home, a dispenser that dispenses hot water automatically. It's around 195. I um, dispensed that half a cup of that, added a cup of room temperature water. And what we're going to do is take the water bottle here and I'm going to carefully dump. I'm using Carefully dump the contents in here. I used brown sugar the other day and it clumped rather um, easily. So I'm using the granulated white sugar because it it's not quite so uh, clumpy. And uh, I'll get a little more even mixture there. And then I add the warm water mixture. Like that. and quickly cover it up with a balloon. There we go, and make sure that it's sealed all the way around, and make sure that there's no twist in the balloons. And um, also what I'm gonna do, well we see some clumping over the side, let's try to mix it up as neatly as possible, and let's see what happens next. So, um, the amount of time it will take to inflate the balloon depends upon the ambient condition, conditions of the room. But let's see what happens. Uh, we'll be back. I'll check this out in about half an hour. Well, uh, this is, um, I didn't keep track of the time, but this is about 30 to 45 minutes later. You can see the balloon is starting to slightly inflate. And I expected to fill up more as time progresses. And of course, uh, your con temperature conditions may vary depending on the uh, temperature of your house and such. Um, we'll try to zoom in here. And um, you may note some of the foaming here on the yeast as it's been exposed to the sugar in the water. Well, just have your kids make lots of observations and uh, see what they learn from this. This is a very easy experiment. It's easy to repeat and um, look forward to questions and comments. Thank you very much.